Hey there YouTube, uh, I just thought I'd show this, there's a um, little circuit here, a couple of components that I've never used before, first component that I've not used before, there's this uh, little tiny like double ris like double diode thing, it's called a diac, you can see that, and this one here which is a triac this is a um, well basically I don't know where it is now but I bought a dimmer AC dimmer switch for a light off eBay and it didn't function at all and I had a look inside it it didn't look that complicated so I thought well I'll go and have a look uh, for any AC dimmer um, circuits and I found one I found a few actually but this is the one that uh, I looked at now some of the components on here are different to the one that was on the original circuit because I didn't have those components the diac is different to the original circuit and the triac is different to the original circuit also I haven't got a um, a 0.027 microfarad or 27 nanofarad um, well I think it's got to be line voltage capacitors about you know, 300, 330 volt or something um, the peak I haven't, I haven't got one of those I did have a uh, I got a 600 volt I think it's 400 volt oh, sorry where are we looking we're not looking there so if you're looking here <laughs> there's a 400 volt there capacitor and I've got it connected because these are dangerous circuits of course I know that um, but I've sort of limited it it's not I can still get killed off this but I have you know limited it down quite a bit and I should probably have a safety fuse as well um, but from what I understand the fuses are there to protect the equipment not so much as stop you from killing uh, <coughs> part of the circuit uh, the best one that can stop that from happening I think is me so what I've done is I've um, here's my mains and here's a 240 volt to 12 volt transformer it's around the same sort of structure and everything pretty much the same as this and this is a um, 20 VA at 12 volts and I've backed the back them so 240 volts going in 12 volts coming out, 12 volts going in, 240 volts coming out, and it's limited by the by the coils themselves. So I can get about 120 milliamps, maybe a little bit more at 250 volts with this. Uh, it can still kill me, most definitely, but it does put a little bit of a um, a little bit of a, a break on on this circuit. So. And I use this, which has got a um, an RCD connected to it. Even though, to be fair, if I make myself part of the circuit, that RCD is not going to make any difference whatsoever. It will see me as a load and carry on produce, uh, allowing the power. So, ah, there you go. I must have heard it just click off then, as it did, because the connections here uh, are not so great. I need to just craft with that. Hold on, look at the valve. I can't reset it for power. So we go. So as you can see, it lights up. If I give it full brightness, that's as much as my power supplies. These transformers are allowed through. That's a 40 watt uh, bulb, but it's only doing part of the job. And as you can see, the the dimmer. Part of it, it's nice. But we need to remember that this is a live circuit, and I need to be very, very careful about anything that I touch here. I have made sure that there's um, that this chassis to this is not live to the triac. It's not, um, but I'm not going to sit with my fingers on it. And there's no live on the casing here. 
um, but I've put a knob on there just in case <laughs> because even though I've already done these checks that they're isolated I don't trust it I don't trust in case something happens I don't even like putting my fingers anywhere near the um, the socket board now but it shows it working and it does the uh, with full line voltage through of course I'd have a lot more movement on the um, on the ver on the variation of it because it would be a lot brighter now and I'll have to turn it down a lot more um, to get it to go off there we go that's my first one I will be adding the um, this other capacitor and um, resistor because that will just help um, from what I understand any sort of signal noise or um, basically just any noise is going through the, the system that will help just wash that out to nothing uh, that's my very first uh, triac circuit I'm quite pleased and I managed to do something again practical and I like doing um, something that can actually be used that I could use I could connect that to my a, a I wonder if it'll work with one of my uh, inverters DC to AC inverters hmm. anyway just to very quickly show you um, that it works on straight to the main supply so you can plug it up to shouldn't really do them like this but just for the sake of this it's not going to be a permanent fixture I've changed the, the pot and I've put a 250k in uh, you must remember this is all live with nothing but the, the fuse inside the plug for any type of protection and we're getting now 40 watts it's only a 40 watt bulb there we go thanks for watching